Hey everyone, I'm going through the TSN trade bait board updated and going through each player on this list and giving you three teams that I believe they could go to. So drop your comments down below, subscribe, like, notification bell, all that good stuff. Pierre-Luc Dubois, these are my top three teams currently for Dubois. Number one, the Montreal Canadiens. I still think they're the favorite. I still think they're the strong suitor for Dubois. Number two, the LA Kings. There's been a lot of rumors specifically from Freeman coming out that Dubois could go to the LA Kings. And number three, I do believe the Minnesota Wild just because of that gap up the middle. And even if they, if they, Erickson X, their guy, Dubois and Erickson Eck would be a good one-two punch. And we'll see the future past that. Rossi, we'll see what happens there. Maybe Rossi is part of the return to get Dubois. Hellebuck. I think the top option for Hellebuck in this moment is the Buffalo Sabres. I've just been talking about the Sabres and Jets being trade options. I'm going to run with that. Number two, again, the LA Kings. I just think the Kings are going to be busy here. Imagine, just imagine, the Kings getting Dubois and Hellebuck in the same trade. That would be nuts. That would be so crazy. And honestly, I would be for it. And number three, the Ottawa Senators. I think if the Sens are in win-now mode, getting a guy like Hellebuck on already a growing defense, great forward group, I think Hellebuck would be a great fit. And then you look at Dabrinkit. So Dabrinkit in Ottawa, I believe he's going to be traded. Uh, the scenario is just not looking good right now. If I had the number one option right now for Dabrinkit, and I've actually changed a little bit, but I have I have the two options I talked about before at two and three here. Number one, Detroit. Honestly, I just look at the cap space they have. Michigan guy. I think Dabrinkit to Detroit's the number one option. The only thing I would say on that point, division rivals with the Sens. Number two, the Colorado Avalanche. I think they have the cap space. They have the scenario of Landis Gogby on LTIR for the year. Colorado's my number two option. And number three, the Washington Capitals. I think they're trying to go back into win now mode with Ovechkin. That's my scenario. Mark Shifley, number one, the Boston Bruins. I've talked about Shifley to the Bruins in the past. If Bergeron and uh, Krejci are done, Shifley is a good option there for Boston. Could play center, could play wing. Number two, I'm going to run it back again with Colorado. I think... Colorado's going to be looking for a big fish in the top six this offseason. I really think Shifley could be that option there for Colorado. And again, the versatility of would he play up there with McKinnon or would he be the number two option? They've missed that number two option since losing Kadri. I think that's probably a good shout. And number three, I've talked about the team in the past. I'm talking about the same teams here, but it's just, I think these are the teams that are going to be in the conversations. And that is the Minnesota Wild. I know the Wild and Jets unlikely to be trade partners with their recent rivalry. But again, in terms of fit, I think it makes some sense there. Eric Carlson, number one team, the Edmonton Oilers. I do believe the Oilers are still going to be in on a guy like Carlson, especially if the contract negotiations don't go well with Evan Bouchard and there's not a long-term fit there. There should be in my eyes. But if the Oilers are really trying to go win now mode and take that extra step to really go all the way next year, Eric Carlson should be their guy. Number two, the Dallas Stars. I believe the Stars, looking at how they went out and looking at how Vegas had two or three guys in the defense group. I mean, Dallas has got Miro, but after that, I mean, yes, Lindell, and they've got options there, but I think really bringing in Eric Carlson as a one-two like punch stud group there with Heiskanen and Carlson... Yes, Carlson didn't work out with Burns as like kind of competing with the offense, but I don't think Miro Heiskanen's just offense. Like he's all around. He can be a versatile guy across the board, play PK, play power play. And I think if it's necessary, Miro can play second power play minutes and split it with EK or even have both of them on the power play. I don't think that would be an, a bad option. And Eric Carlson obviously um, knows a guy like Joe Pavelski. I, I don't think that would hurt too bad. And third, I mean, this is a hot take because they've already got Maurice Sider on the right side, but Detroit, I think there's they got a lot of Swedes in Detroit. I think Eric Carlson, I mean, Sider could learn from a guy like Carlson, and I think that could be the one-two punch on the right side. That would be my take for the top five. Let's go to six through ten. Okay, be warned, you're going to hear some Toronto here. Brett Pesci, number one option, the Edmonton Oilers. Again, I believe the Oilers are going to go for a right-shot defenseman. If it's not a big fish like Carlson... Pesci with Ekholm would be a great shutdown pair. I could see that happening, but he could also be paired with Nurse. Uh, number two for Pesci, the Toronto Maple Leafs. I just think it makes too much sense. Uh, I do believe the Leafs and Hurricanes could be trade partners this offseason. And I just think overall, when you're looking at uh, great fits, I think Toronto's got to be up there. Regardless of Toronto media being all over so many different names, I think Pesci to Toronto makes a lot of sense. And honestly, I'm just kind of saying some of these on the fly, but... 
You know what? I would say, and again, this is kind of interesting as like maybe another Metro team, but I do think a team uh, like the Islanders could look at a guy like Pesci. I think they were trying to solidify the right side. If they lose a guy like Scott Mayfield, I think there could be a fit there. And maybe the Islanders try to trade one of their forwards. Going to Noah Hannafin. Number one, I just think the connection is so solid. The Toronto Maple Leafs, Brad Trey Living acquired Noah Hannafin, brought him to Calgary. It doesn't seem like it's going to work out in Calgary. Hannafin to Toronto, to me, would make a ton of sense. Number two, I'm going to keep referencing the uh, Detroit Red Wings because I do believe the Red Wings, again, I think when I look at their defense group right now, I think Stevie Y is going to make a big move. So I'll, when, I, when it comes to defensemen, I'm going to keep talking about the Red Wings. Number three, Noah Hannafin to the St. Louis Blues. I've seen a lot of these conversations. The Blues are going to overhaul their defense group. I think Hannafin could be a target there. Going to Konechny now. <laughs> and again, I've talked about the Oilers a lot, this group, but I do think this is the last time I'll talk about the Oilers. Konechny to the Oilers makes so much sense. And I think they have a group like they have a group of prospects or a package that would make sense for Philly. I would imagine Philly would look at Broberg um, as a potential return. Number two. And I mean, for me, this one, I don't know if, like I want to put Toronto at two, but I'll put them at three here. I just say this number two team for me, for Konechny, could be very, very sneaky. And I would just say, in terms of teams that I don't talk about that much, um... I just think this one's interesting. Nashville Predators. I think honestly the Preds in terms of in terms of like history in terms of like being a team that makes trades like this. I really think Nashville could be a team that makes a quick turnaround here and they like having a little bit of bite in their lineup. I think a guy like Barry Trotz would love a guy like Travis Konechny. I think at the age it still makes sense in their timeline. It just really depends what Philly is looking for. Number three, I'll go with the Toronto Maple Leafs, though. I do think the Leafs need a guy like Konechny, so I'm just I'm putting that out there. John Gibson, number one, Pittsburgh Penguins. I actually think I've connected the Penguins with Gibson for a while, um, and I do believe Kyle Dubas, once upon a time, was part of an organization that acquired a goalie from the Ducks. I think there's some familiarity there with the Ducks and Penguins as well. And you know what's really funny? If you look up John Gibson where he was born... Pittsburgh. So I think there's a potential there. Number two, I'll go with the Buffalo Sabres as like a backup option. If they don't get a guy like Hellebuck, don't get a guy like Sarles, don't get a guy like Demko. I mean, it just depends on how, how they trust their current system. But I think John Gibson could be a target. And at number three, I think the, um, sorry, I think the Ottawa Senators. I My thing is with John Gibson, I think it depends. Like the Sens will probably revisit a bunch of these options, uh, but I do think the Sens have a lot of younger pieces that the Ducks could be interested in. And honestly, I'd actually this is just off topic but related. I actually think Maxime Comtois could also be a target for the Ottawa Senators, especially if they were trying to trade to Brinkett and the Ducks feel they're going to turn things around quickly. My hot take would be John Gibson and Maxime Comtois in some kind of package to get Debrinkit to Anaheim. I don't think that's that realistic, but I think in terms of fit, I think if the Ducks feel they're going to turn things around quickly, I do believe that's a like that's a fit. Like that that part's a fit in terms of Sens need a goalie going forward and the Ducks trying to turn things around. Obviously the Ducks would have to look for a goalie option past that, but it's interesting. It's very interesting. Scott Lawton number 1 Toronto Maple Leafs. You just, you got to do it. You got to do it. I would go number two, Colorado. There was some interest there in the past. And number three, the Dallas Stars. I think the, the Stars could look at a guy like Scott Lawton. If they don't bring back Domi, I think they want that physicality in their middle six. I think Scott Lawton at three million would be really, really, really realistic to keep. And yeah, I think some of those West teams are going to try to get a guy like Scott Lawton. But I got to put Toronto at the top of the list here because I just think it makes way too much sense. And uh, yeah, honestly, Leafs got to get Lawton. Like, I, I love Konechny, but Lawton makes so much sense. 